Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do something different again because doing new things is a lot of fun. <laughs> I've been watching John Franklin art a lot and in one of his videos he pours out of the top of like a soap bottle thing, <laughs> like a dish soap container. He like cuts the soap bottle and then he pours the paints in to the top and then he releases it and the paints just flow out and I thought it looked really cool so I wanted to try that today. So today I have this pretty blue that I made. It's a regular blue by Artist Loft mixed with a little bit of metallic black and then I have a pure gold from Folk Art and then I have an Artist Loft white and I'm using my go-to paint ratio mixture. It's a one to three paint to flow trough. So let's see. In his video, he, uh, I think he used red, white, and black. And he used two contrasting colors and then he had a different color whoop, that just kind of went down the middle. So I'm going to Pour my white and my blue in first. This didn't pour at the same time, but I think that's okay. And then he just kind of poured a little bit in the middle there. And then I'm going to go down the sides again with this. And then down the middle with this one. Okay. That blue is thicker than my white, so it's pouring faster out of my cup there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna like go around a little bit with the gold. And then back to the blue and white. I think those will be it. And the last of my colors. So I put the top of my cut soap bottle inside of one of my cups just to hold it in place there. And he kind of did the same thing in his video. I thought that was a good idea so I don't have to sit here and hold this part. I probably would have done something like that, but. <laughs> and there's the last of my gold. Okay, so I have all my paint in here, layered, ready to go. That's what it looks like there. Just gonna set this to the side and then I'm gonna tape off my edges on my six inch by six inch tile. In my last video, I used tape that was a little bit thinner and I had an issue with the paint rolling over it. So I'm going to use a little bit wider tape this time. Let's see how that works. Now I didn't do anything to get my towel ready. I haven't like primed it or anything. It's just just a regular towel.
Okay, so there we go. It's all taped, ready to go. Just want to make sure it's all around pretty good. Looks good. Okay. So on his squirt bottle, he has a nozzle to where it just pops down and then the paint just starts immediately <laughs> flowing. I have like a flip top thing. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if it's gonna come out fast or slow, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do I don't know, like a ring pour, I guess, in the middle. So let's see what happens. All I see is blue and white so far. <laughs> I don't really see any of the gold. Maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe it'll come out last or maybe it's mixing. It's like a steady stream coming out. It's like not too fast, but not too slow. It's kind of just right. It's kind of easier than pouring it out of a cup, honestly, because with a cup, you can't really control. Sometimes I like, um, at times I pour more out, their cells popping up and they're gold. That's cool. Um, but yeah, whenever I pour out of a cup, sometimes I pour faster and sometimes I pour slower. This seems to be like controlling it. So that's really cool. <clears throat> Those cells that are coming up are so cool, they're gold. Like the rings are all blue and then there's gold cells popping up. That's cool. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up because that looks really cool. Look at this. Like what? Oh my gosh. This is wicked. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to spread this out and open up those cells. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just want to stare at it all day. There's like a hole in the middle. And that gold shimmer right there. Look at that. Dude. What? Okay, I'm going to, before I spin it, I'm going to stretch it this way a little bit because it's already touching that edge over there. I just want it to be even. This looks so cool. Let 
Okay, I have it touching that edge. I'm gonna bring it back to the middle here. And then I'm gonna bring it down this way. It's definitely touching the edge there. Can you guys see this? Like, are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? That looks so cool. Okay, it's pretty much touching the sides. I'm gonna spin it and try to get it to the corners. So let's go. Okay, I'm gonna spin it the other way. Dang, one more corner. I wonder if I can just like... Stretch it down to this corner here. I just wanna like help this paint go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the uh, the tape off now. Okay. Okay, maybe one last spin to try to get the edges covered here. <laughs> maybe a little bit harder than that, Chelsea, come on. Oh, actually that kind of worked. I'm only missing like two little spots now. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like what? John Franklin is a genius. Who would have thought to put paint in the top of a soap bottle? I mean, I don't know if he came up with that, but man. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I'm not a loss of words. Like, this is so cool. Just gonna touch up my corners. Like literally that's it, I'm, I'm done. All right, I'll go ahead and take you guys in for a close up. All right guys, here we go. Final wet, wet result. The center of this. The detail in this little six by six tile is just crazy. And even my edges all the way around look super cool. 
So this is the bottom left corner. Bottom right corner. You can see that shimmery gold for sure in this corner. My edge looks good all the way around. And I'll take y'all up to the right corner. And the top left corner. back to the middle. I see so many things in this. It's amazing. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what you see. I will be doing this again. If you have a chance, go check out some of John Franklin's art. He's got some pretty wicked stuff on there. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all soon. Bye.